all right hey guys it's period on here and i'm gonna be showing you how to make a minecraft texture pack i mean texture pack jesus minecraft uh, hold up girl for a uh, minecraft server for 1.5 or whatever version is out there at the time um this is vanilla minecraft no bucket and any of that it's gonna be just normal vanilla minecraft so what you're gonna want to do is first of all open up a folder it could be named whatever you want I have mine, this is my server right here, I have it server 1.5, 1, 1 but you can name it my server, or whatever you want, you know, that's up to you. You open up your web browser, you go to Minecraft, type, you go to Minecraft.net, and down here, you, you can either be logged in, registered, it doesn't really matter, it says download, you go to download, it might be right here where it says buy now, and last time, FTB. Oh, okay. He wants to play FTB. But, uh, Minecraft for Windows. I was wrong. I said you could go over here for the other ones, but don't go there. Where it says multiplayer server on the bottom, go to Minecraft server.exe if you want Windows. But if it's like Mac or Linux or something else, you're going to want to download the Minecraft server.jar. So just download the Minecraft server.exe and then it should download once it's like that you can drag it onto the into the server you made I mean the folder that you made so you just drag it in and once you open up the server I mean the actually I think I'm going to stop because this is my server right here I'll stop it real quick and there were people inside of it but whatever it's okay <laughs> just for video purposes so you're going to want to double click this one it's going to ask you if you want to run it and of course you want to run it it might take a while or not it doesn't really ask you if you want to run it but here we go it should do this preparing spawn area 50% 30% for some it might take a little longer for others it might take f like no time at all like when it, it, it took it was pretty fast lost connection see people try joining but they're not whitelisted Whoop. but uh <laughs> we'll go ahead and oh instead of doing that you're supposed to type in stop so that yeah don't <laughs> I messed up I thought it was the other one but do stop and that should stop it and yeah so once that is done some files will generate just like this and if we go into my um, to my uh whatchamacallit youtube.com if I go to my video manager and if I go down to the first video I made the how to create a minecraft server it got pretty good ratings I thank you guys for that it's like 33 damn it's great great but uh you go here and a lot of people would ask let's see some people I did a restart to the computer it says IP config now recognize an internal we'll get to that later but can run this type CMD. So most of the problems were with the with the IP and that stuff with the IP and CMD. So I'll be sure to cover that more thoroughly. So this isn't too bad, you know. You know what whitelist, you know how to do this. I already showed you in the other video. Server, these are the properties, you know, this let's call it test. Last night spell test. Test. Redistance 10. Uh, max players I like to give it around 8 doesn't really matter game mode that's the game mode 1 is peace no 1 is creative 0 is survival ah uh, come on gamer don't interrupt my video pvp that's if you guys can hit each other uh, diff, uh, online mode true that is if like the, the server checks to the minecraft website to make sure it's a real um, account so if your friends uh, they have a cracked thing in my bobby you might want to turn that to false but yeah hardcore mode false snooper enabled true you can have that doesn't really matter this is the whitelist and server seed all that doesn't really matter make sure the server port is 25565 and once that's done you can exit out of that or save it yeah I could save it ops this is you want to put your name in here whatever your name might be and then save and you only want to have your name in there unless you want other people like your friends to have full control over your server just put your name 
and this is your world and I found out from Gamer Noobs, the guy who's been interrupting me you could have say this is your world I have PureCraft in here my backup you just drag it in and it's in here now but for your server where it says level oh no where it says level name just do pure craft or whatever whatever um the new whatever world you want it like if you want to use world you just type in world right there if you want to use pure craft you just type in pure craft right here and whatever um it recognizes a folder and it'll use that world so that's a good w way to like just transition between worlds if you want so yeah that's a good way to do that Ooh. jesus gamer so what did it do it's the backup i need to get the server okay so i just need to copy this real quick since it's my backup copy it into here you always want to have a backup in case you know uh something happens to the server or it gets corrupted or something something blows up that you don't want to blow up you can just put that back in you know whoops don't do that six minutes in the video of course i'm using camtasia since uh, since uh fraps doesn't record the desktop so now what we're going to want to do is um for your friends to be able to join or actually let's just make sure the server is running because right now it's not running i don't have it on open or whatever but let's start up minecraft and the server let's get that running you just double click minecraft server and this would show up so you could close that but make sure this is like that so now you're gonna wanna open up minecraft and it's right here my server I already have it but if you wanna connect to it you go to direct connect or add server the, for the IP for if you're hosting it on your computer you're gonna wanna do it um, local host with no spaces, just like that. It could be capital, I think it doesn't really matter. Just like this, join server and you're you're in. So yeah, it's kind of laggy because yeah, but whatever. I'm sorry. Oh no, don't join, join, don't join the game. God damn it. <sighs> okay. This is the wrong, this is an older version of the server. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop that. Stop. My friend joined. Little boy. I think you know him if you watch my PureCraft series. So what you're gonna wanna do now for your friends to join, cause like my friend to join like that, you're gonna wanna go, this is for Windows 8, but usually you just go run right here if you have Windows 7, but this is Windows 8. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, wait, how do you do this? Okay, here we go. You're gonna go into this, go up here, go to search if this is for Windows uh, 8, and look up run. I think you guys know right here, you just type in run for the search thing right here, it's the same thing. And then once you're in the run application, you're gonna wanna type in um, CMD, and this is show up. So, uh, Jerry, is still recording? No. Okay, so right here, this is show up, and you're going to want to type in IP config. No spaces or anything. Just don't even move anything. Just type that in. No spaces at all. Just type in enter after you do that. This should come up if you do it right. This is the CMD. So you're going to want to go wait all the way to the top. This is the very top. And right here where it says default gateway, you're going to want to see that. So mine is 192. Dot one six eight dot one dot one. Yours is probably gonna be different. It is yeah, that's let's see. One nine two dot one six eight dot one dot one. That's mine. That's Verizon. If you guys have Netgear or anything else, it's gonna be different. So it doesn't matter if you have anything else, if you have a uh, charter uh Netgear or anything, it's gonna be different. So don't worry, it's gonna have to be different. I said that about a million times, but yeah, just type that in where it says default gateway. That's going to be yours. You put it into the into the web bar thing and you click enter. Now it's going to come something up like this. Your username, it's usually going to be admin and for your password, it's going to be it's most likely going to be on your router or in somewhere you know the a wireless router. Mine is right there it has it says the password and the username. So just do that 
once you go there oh let me check mine because i i did this on the other computer so let me uh, let me pause it real quick and find out what it, what it all right so i'm back and i went in and i found out sometimes it, it yeah just put the password in there click enter and something like this should show up you know like not exactly like this obviously because this is ryzen but you're gonna want to look up for one that says quick links or gaming or port forwarding there'd be a something for that mine's right here port forwarding make sure it's port forwarding not anything else and ip address forward right here you're gonna want to do specific ip or specify ip and yours you could probably just put any ip in here but for the ip right here that says um the port forwarding that you're gonna want to go to your cmd again it's the same the very top right here and it's gonna be the ipv4 address that one that says ipv4 address the dot 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 and then that one that's next to it so it's going to be something similar to the one that you had for up here so it's going to be 192.168 mine's 1.1.6 so that's mine so you type that in here 192 mine I already have it typed in so it's right there it's going to be that one so you're going to go application to forward it's going to be you're going to do custom ports or yours will probably just be like that anyways and where it says TCP or UDP, you're gonna want to do both or or um slash both of them. Yeah. And for the port, you're gonna want to do two five five six five. And that should be it. You should click add, and then it, you should add it. Mine, uh, it's somewhere on here. It's right. I'm not sure what mine is. But you click add or apply or whatever yours says and it should be in here make sure it's enabled like this active so yeah make sure that is enabled oh mine's right here 25565 that's that's a uh, that's minecraft so report forward to that and it should people should be able to join as soon as you um you added this or maybe a little in a few minutes but once you have that done you're gonna need to give your friends an IP so for that you're gonna go IP chicken and I'm gonna go ahead and just do it you guys can see you won't be able to join though because my server is whitelisted so just to show you this is the IP right here like right there so you're gonna want to copy that copy and you could give it to your friends you know you could uh paste you know go to your um well, um, Facebook or whatever you just give it to your friends give them a message be like oh yeah this is my uh so all you need to do you know is like control V or just paste you know how to do paste just give them that and then they're gonna want to go into Minecraft for them to join because I had questions on this too for them to join they're gonna go to Minecraft obviously and they're gonna do they're gonna go here where it says multiplayer and then if they want to add a server they could call it whatever they want you know minecraft server and where it says server address this is where they put it so they put that in there you, you're gonna have to do control v because you can do um the right click so you'll copy that and then control v and it should be here done it'll add it like that and you could join but i don't have the server running so it should be right here and they could join that or they could just do um direct connect Control V and just directly connect. So that's how you do it. So that's how you do that. If any other questions, as you can see in my last video, I will answer them. Almost every single comment I try to answer and help. So I hope this helped. I hope it wasn't a little. Um, I hope it wasn't too long. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Bye.